Hello, Internet. Welcome to... Nah, I'm just playing. <laughs> what up? It's your boy, MK. And we're about to do an unboxing of the Uncanny X-Men set. I said I was going to do it. Product came in, and we're going to unbox this. Now, unlike everybody else, because there's already been a lot of unboxing videos for Uncanny X-Men, uh, WizKids even did their own official one with Scott. It was pretty awesome. He did a great job. But if you're like me, a lot of Heroclix players, very superstitious. We always want to know which box has the good stuff. You know, so you can take this with a grain of salt. It's just a theory. It's going to be really fun. So I'm going to do an unboxing, but I'm also going to try to keep track of the boxes with Wolverine on the front and the boxes with Colossus on the front. Which one pulls more super rares, chases, rares, uh, and even cliff FX, FX uh, basis. So we're going to try to do something a little different here. It's still going to be an unboxing video. I'll try to keep it a little short, even though I absolutely love X-Men. Uh, with a case of figures, you know, I, this video could be pretty long. So I'll try to keep it brief, uh, especially considering all the other unboxing videos. Uh, but X-Men is my absolute favorite. I'm hoping to pull X-23. I know she's just a rare, so hopefully I pull her. She's one of my favorite characters. I uh, haven't been this excited since Deadpool set. Uh, and before that, Wolverine and the X-Men actually saved my box from that because this set was the truth. I loved it. Uh, I'm upset that there's not a new Gambit in here, but the Gambit from that set is still really good. Uh, so without further ado, what we're going to do is we'll do, uh, I guess, Wolverine here and Colossus there. So we'll take the first brick down. We'll go ahead and we'll open the first booster. We're going to start front, my right. Open it up here. I took a lot of tips from the other videos. People were saying, you know, they couldn't always see the figures. So I tried to uh, do a different camera angle this time. And right off the bat, I'll open it this way so you can kind of see. This was, again, a Wolverine pack. We have a Mystique. We have a uh, Genosian Magistrate. We got Cyclops. And we also have Harpoon and Scrambler. So pretty good. Looks like the rare here is Mystique. So we'll pop her out and we'll put her on the Wolverine side. Let me take this. We'll prop them up this way and this will kind of help me also remember who was in what. So we got the first box, rare Mystique. And we'll kind of go in depth with some of the figures if you like. Uh, again, some of these figures have been seen already. But the next one we'll do is a Colossus pack. All right, so, so far we got a rare for Wolverine. And in the Colossus pack, I can see already, we have a another rare. Let's get this tape off. Oop. And the rare we have this time is the Cyclops with the cool suit, the new kind of bad guy Cyclops. We have a Sabretooth. We have a Blockbuster another Cyclops, and another Magistrate. It's always good to have these, these generic doubles. They have the police keyword, so they could fit into a lot of good teams. Uh, this Cyclops, I actually played in a pre-release, and I pulled him already. Uh, but yeah, I, I love this suit. Uh, this storyline was kind of cool. It was right after A versus X. Uh, Cyclops can no longer control his powers. I kind of didn't follow through on that whole story. I don't know what happened. I don't know why his powers went so erratic. Same thing happened to Magneto. Uh, same thing happened uh, to Emma. So it's pretty. Same thing happened to Colossus. Then he ended up joining X Force, which was awesome. Uh, this Sabretooth. I'm happy that we got a new Sabretooth because Sabretooth is one of my favorite villains. Uh, but you know, it's not about him right now. It's really about the big pieces. Uh, but awesome Sabretooth in there. All right. So we're one for one. We'll go back to a Wolverine pack. We'll open this up. And we'll... Maybe I'll start opening them from the bottom. Nope, looks like it's an equal amount of tape. All right. And the funny thing was, the rares both times were at the top of the boosters. Usually they're at the bottom of the boosters. But, so in the next Wolverine pack, we have Colossus, uh, which I did pull in my pre-release. Really good. We have Storm. We have uh, a Morlock generic. Along with Beast. Oh, along with Beast. All right, so Beast is the super rare. 
which is really cool. I did not have Beast yet. He totally wrecked me in my pre-release. He has an outwit that's pretty much, you know, everyone within four of him, regardless if you can see him or not, outwit one power in each. That's beastly. You know, no, no pun intended. But <laughs> so we'll put Beast here in the new, you know, non uh Wolverine looking form. <laughs> This is when Beast went through another mutation. He lost his feline look. And I, I personally liked that look a lot when he uh, transformed. Uh, what kind of drove me crazy, I think in AVX, the one book with the Secret Avengers, they were still drawing Beast the other way. It's little pet peeves. I was like, ah, oh, he doesn't look like that anymore. You know, keep up, artists. Don't you know what's going on? Uh, all right, next we got a Colossus pack. And, okay, so... Nothing crazy in the front. We just have a Wolverine piece. The yellow and blue Wolverine. We have another Blockbuster. We have a Stonewall, Vanisher, and Crimson Commando. So, uh, I told one of my friends I did not know who Crimson Commando was. I do know who he is. I went online and looked him up. I just don't remember him looking like this. My brother had the toy of him. He's the guy, he's got the white ponytail. The cannon for an arm. I wish they would have done that scope. Uh, he's just a rare, uh, but he's pretty cool. Again, the rest of these guys, the Vanisher is going to be great on an X-Force team. Uh, if you read X-Force when Clayton Crane was doing the art, that's when he was on the team. That was a, a bad team. X-23, Warpath, Wolverine, uh, Archangel, Wolfsbane. Great, great book. I highly recommend it if you haven't. If you want to like know some of these figures uh, before getting into the set, it's a really good read. Uh, but that was a Colossus pack. Next, we're going to a Wolverine pack. All right, so, so far, the Wolverine packs are winning with one super rare. Uh, next, we'll... Oh, I know this piece. Uh, so it's another super rare. It's right on the top. Uh, let's see here. It's a, he's a big figure. That's why I was shaking to see if you could have heard it. Uh, but we have Cameron Hodge as well as a Kitty Pride, which is awesome. So we'll show that. We got Kitty Pride. We got a, another Morlock generic, which is good because I'm trying to make a Morlock team. Another cop and another blue and yellow Wolverine. So. This was a super rare, and I believe I said it was out of a Wolverine pack. So, it'll go on this side. That's making it now two super rares from the Wolverine packs, and no super rares so far from the Colossus packs. Next, we'll go ahead and see. Okay, we're in row two of the first brick. Cameron Hodge, I don't know how much use I'll get out of him. He does have the purifiers keyword, which makes it awesome if you still have all those purifiers from the Giant Size X-Men set. It gives them guys a little bit of extra life. Also, shout out to my friend Kevin. He got me this shirt. You know, it's a, it's a pretty cool X-Men shirt. I don't see other people wearing this shirt. And that's what makes the shirt cool. When you feel like you're the only person who has it. Uh, so, thanks a lot, Kevin. I appreciate that. I got a couple X-Men shirts. Again, I, I was very fortunate that X-Men and Ninja Turtles came out back to back. That, those were my two favorite things from my childhood ever. So that's that's pretty awesome time to be a clickster for me. Uh, so now we have, we have, uh, is that Warpath? Nope, it's his brother, Thunderbird. We have a Emma Frost with her new costume. We have a Juggernaut, a Scalp Hunter, and a Brood Queen. So, now we finally pulled our first Super Rare out of the Colossus pack. It's, oh wait, nope, I take that back, my mistake. The Brood Queen is a Rare. And then, uh, that, of course, because the Broods are uncommon. So if you want to make a Swarm Army, it's going to be a lot harder. Because they didn't do, you know, Broods as a common. Which is what most people would have preferred. Uh, but I'm happy. You know, I'm happy I got a Brood Queen. Uh, let's see how many Broods I pull. So far, I haven't gotten any. Cool thing with the Brood Queen, if you at least pull a Brood, she has this little egg that she puts down uh, that just keeps generating more and more 
broods as one dies and another one comes in. It's a beautiful sculpt. It's really good. Uh, so we'll put that there. And again, the rest of the, the pack. This Juggernaut, also really impressive. Everyone was scared of the Juggernaut at the pre-release that I went to. <laughs> to show that. Uh, that's, I mean, it's kind of beastly. Uh, the cool thing, too, his helmet comes off, I believe. Uh, don't want to break it already. Take my word for it. His helmet does come off. Uh, he would go up here because he's awesome, but he's just a uh, uncommon. So I'm going to put him to the side with the rest of these. All right. So now we go to a Wolverine pack again. And let's see who we have in this Wolverine pack. Still haven't seen the next 23, and I'm almost out of one brick. So I really hope to get the next 23, just because he's one of my favorite characters. Uh, you, you may not be able to see it. You may have seen it in the last video. You know, I have a statuette of X-23. Got action figures of X-23. My friends keep telling me to do like a, a shot of my man cave to show you my collection and whatnot. So I might do that down the line. Uh, but again, this was a Wolverine pack. We have, again, another Thunderbird. We have Arclight. We have Gene from the all-new X-Men set. We have Super Saber. And we have Angel. And it looks like the rare here is Angel. So he'll go on this side. Not a fan of the all-new X-Men. I'm not going to lie to you. When I first found out this was going to be a set containing new X-Men, I thought they meant the... Yost, uh, Kyle and Yost run, which would have been awesome. We did get Pixie, which was cool. We did get X-23, but man, there's still a lot of characters that they could have done to show off the quote-unquote new X-Men. Uh, but let's separate this a little bit. So this is the Wolverine side. We got two super rares and two rares. And on the Colossus side, we got just one rare. Uh, and then let's go ahead and bust open another pack. Ooh, this, this could be good. It's, I don't know which one it is. But, so, this is a Colossus pack. Opening it up. And we got a Sunfire, which is really cool. We got an old school Cyclops. We got Storm again. We got everyone's favorite, at least my personal favorite, Nightcrawler. And another Colossus. Uh, now, Sunfire is a rare. Out of the Sunfire rare the Sunfire Prime Rare, and the Chase, they're all good. There's no bad Sunfire pe Sunfire pieces. So that's pretty cool uh, that I pulled him. Let's go ahead and show off this Nightcrawler sculpt. Everyone likes Nightcrawler. I mean, he's just he's just a cool character. My son, I got a picture at Comic-Con for myself. My son wanted it. Of course, I gave it to him. Uh, but Nightcrawler's just cool. Cool design, cool character. Uh, so, yeah, I'm looking forward to playing that guy. Okay, so we're still standing at four rares, Colossus packs, and two super rares, Wolverine packs. This is the first brick. I haven't seen a Prime or a Chase, which is usually, you know, you get one or the other when you buy a uh, brick. So in these last two packs, I'm hoping to see one or the other. Uh, again, look at that brood. Brood's pretty, <laughs> pretty menacing. Uh, let's see here. All right. I know what this is. So again, this is a Wolverine pack. And inside of the Wolverine pack, we got Phoenix, which is a super rare. We got the brown suit Wolverine, who I really like. Riptide, who's been a lot of people's favorites in Sealed, a Prism, and another Arc Life. Uh, but the Phoenix is a super rare, and she was in a Wolverine pack. Don't know if that means anything. You know, I don't want to see Wolverine packs flying off the walls, but I probably will after this video. <laughs> Uh, Phoenix is pretty cool. I like the scope a lot. I like the, the little water effect. It's pretty cool. Uh, I do only have one other Phoenix, and it was from the 10th anniversary set. She's really good, but she's a lot of points. So this one being 140, we'll probably get a lot more use. Uh, so let's go ahead. We'll put another one of these up. We'll bring back Mystique. Uh, we'll put her here. We'll bring back Angel. Put him here. Uh, and we'll bring back Cameron Hodge. We'll put him here. Uh, so you, I will keep Beast up front because, again, that sculpt is just really, really cool. And we'll keep Phoenix next to him because they're X-Men. All right, so that was... Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I was about to say. So, yeah, no Chase or Prime. But I was wrong. There's one more pack left. It's a Colossus pack. 
You can keep track at home. Two super rares for Wolverine. Three super rares for Wolverine and two rares. Colossus has given me. Let's see. You'll see it when I see it. Uh, okay. Looks like we have our first chase. So that's pretty awesome. And we have X23, which is also pretty awesome. We have a Brood. We have a Cliff of FX for X23. Uh, so this is probably my favorite pull so far. Now it is a Wolverine for my chase. Uh, if you didn't know, all the chases were thematic from uh, the Age of Apocalypse storyline. A lot of people upset that we didn't actually get an Apocalypse. Uh, I'm alright with it. You know, I got the one from the con. <laughs> He's not the best, but, you know, it's better than nothing. But I can understand if you don't have an apocalypse, you know, it's pretty crappy for them not to put him in the set. Especially considering it's it's his storyline. Uh, but I did get Wolverine. It looks like he wasn't on his base. He was a little bit loose. Uh, but that's cool. This was the chase that I really wanted. I just didn't want to get Colossus. <laughs> no offense. Because uh, you need Wolverine to play Colossus, but you don't need... Colossus to play Wolverine. I mean, Wolverine to play Colossus. You need <laughs> Wolverine if you're going to play Colossus. I'll put it that way. But I don't need Colossus because I got Wolverine. So that's pretty awesome. So, even though all the super rares... Oh, and of course, X-23, which is <laughs> the best pull. I, I, I love this a lot. That's that's what's up. Uh, so let's go ahead and sun fire. You can take a back seat. So this pack got me a Chase Wolverine, it got me an X-23, it got me some uh, Brood generic, really good pull. So point for Colossus, <laughs> that was that was a really good pull right there. Uh, we'll just put him off to the side because we've gotten a good look at that already. And I do apologize, I, I feel like I'm getting a bit sick, so if I'm sniffling a lot, you know, don't hold it against me. But we're also going to go ahead and put the... FX base for X-23. The cool thing with the FX bases, they all do something different for different characters. So I know hers will give like a, a prolonged bleeding effect if she actually hits someone. Uh, so that's pretty cool. Can't, let's see if we get her in the camera with him. Oh, it's just because she's so short. <laughs> all right. So that's a game changer right there. Do you buy the Wolverine packs to get a super rare or do you risk all of the regular pieces but possibly a chase with a colossus pack uh, so that was the first brick let's go ahead and get into the second one same rules apply so the game ain't over yet so we're gonna start with a wolverine pack first uh, front right my right and inside we have so again we have the thunderbird we have the Lady Mastermind, we have the Scalp Hunter, we have Cyclops, and we have another Nightcrawler. This one is the Swashbuckler with the sword. He's a rare. So Wolverine Pack scores another rare. And they score, it's a, kind of the same sculpt as the other Nightcrawler, but this one has the sword, has the bandana. Uh, pretty cool. And he comes with a Banff with a uh, click. FX. <laughs> uh, this is pretty cool because he can teleport around as long as this is on the map. So we'll go ahead. We'll bring back Phoenix. We'll bring up Nightcrawler with his bath. And we'll bring back Beast. Let somebody else get some attention for once. Alright. And then the rest of the guys again you already seen. It's the Cyclops. The all new X-Men Cyclops. Uh, Lady Mastermind. Alright. Next, we'll go for a Colossus Booster. And we have... Let's see here. I'm just a savage. I'm sorry, there's no pretty way for me to open these boxes. Uh, so, we have here a Storm. We have here a Morlock or a Caliban. Another Cop. Another Storm with the Clicks FX Base. And a Nightcrawler. So the Storm with the black, the Storm with the silver, and the Storm with the silver is a rare. So we'll take out the Storm with the silver. And we'll put her on Colossus's side. And I'm pretty sure that the Cliff, the Click FX, why can't I say that? Pretty sure that goes to this Storm. Uh, so we'll put her here. 
uh, we'll put it here. With this Wolverine in the way, you really can't see anyone. So we'll, we'll bring Wolverine back. We'll slide X-23 over. <laughs> we'll bring Storm up as well. And then I'll probably do, again, like the last set, maybe just another video of all the pieces more close, more closely. Uh, so you can get a better look at some of these figures. I'll lay them all out and see what I pulled in terms of the set, what I'm missing. And so that was a rare back on Wolverine. Wolverine is still, I mean, pulling like a chase was pretty, pretty satisfying. Uh, but, you know, two, three super rares versus a chase is like, what are you going to go for? And I know not everyone's crazy about pulling chases, so. Wolverine pack. We have, again, a Colossus. We have another one of those Cops. We have another Cyclops. We have a Beast. And if you saw me smiling, it's because I got Omega Red. Never had an Omega Red. So I'm happy to see that he was made in the set. He is a rare. Uh, I'm sorry, this is a Wolverine pack. Uh, that's pretty awesome. When, again, it, most of Wolverine's rogue galleries are where you're going to find my favorite villains. Uh, you know, your Sabretooth. Your Lady Deathstrike, your Omega Red, to a degree, you know, I love when him and Deadpool go back and forth. You know, Deadpool, I mean, Wolverine fights the cool villains. Uh, so that's, that's pretty awesome to pull the Omega Red, put him on the Wolverine side, which is pretty fitting that he was in the Wolverine case. And, okay, so let's go ahead and just make a little bit of space. So we got to see Angel already. We got to see Mystique. Uh, we got to see... Cameron Hodge. I mean, this is this is a really cool sculpt. It's just ugly, you know. If you if you're in the if you're into the comics, you know, you know, this guy is pretty pretty freaky. Uh, so I think, and I think the way he plays is really good. He keeps healing. You keep pushing him. He keeps healing himself. So it takes a while to take him out. Uh, the Gene will leave. The Beast will leave. And then anybody cluttered on this side, we'll take down Captain Commando, and we'll leave the rest. All right, so back on the Colossus pack, halfway through the second brick, and uh, right, sorry, we got a Morlock, we got a Scrambler, we got a Stonewall, we got a Sabretooth, and we got a Dark Angel. He has to be taken out if you want to really see him. And this was in a Colossus pack, so even though I'm pulling. More super rares in the Wolverine pack. The super rares and the chases that I want behind the Colossus packs. But this is this is an awesome, awesome sculpt. This is Angel when he became Archangel as a part of the X Force storyline. Uh, he went crazy at the sight of Wolfsbane, tore her apart, or rather, she tore him apart, turned him into this, and then further down the line, he finds. Uh, I think it was a celestial egg, and it turned them into apocalypse. I mean, it's just craziness. But the the good part of it is, I've seen him in in action. He gets hypersonic and flurry, which just seems unfair to me. <laughs> okay, we'll bring her back just one X one three just one time, so we can put Angel there, and we'll bring down Storm, and we'll bring down Cyclops, and we'll bring down Sunfire, and we'll give him center stage. And of course, we still gotta have the Chase and the Brood. Because she's awesome looking. All right. Next up, we have a Wolverine pack. So I'm pretty much sure there's going to be a prime in this brick that I'm currently opening because I got the chase in the first brick. Uh, so the second brick, I mean, I don't know who I'm still looking for. I got the X23, I got the Omega Red. Yeah, that's, <laughs> I can't think of too many other pieces. Oh, speaking of the devil, I mentioned this guy earlier. So my prime is. Sunfire. Got Sunfire Prime. Got Warpath for my X-Force team. Prism. Lady Mastermind. And also Warpath's brother, Thunderbird. Uh, so we have to pop out Sunfire. It's pretty, pretty good. He's a Prime. So this, this sculpt is very similar to the non-Prime version. Except the <laughs> the prime version has the cool fire effect in the background uh, that's pretty awesome so we'll go ahead we'll put him on this side he's a rare he's a prime and he's pretty awesome looking uh, so down to the final five and then I'll do a quick total tally at the end and figure out 
which booster was the better booster. Or which which side was the better side. Okay, I can see the figure that I already pulled, but with a, the better color scheme, in my opinion. We have, again, Sabretooth. But this time with the brown and orange costume, which is more traditional. It's the one I really like. We have Vanisher again. We have Arclight again. We have a Morlock. And we have Emma. So let's pop out Sabretooth, who is the rare this time. So we'll put him right in front of Wolverine. <laughs> it looks pretty cool together. Uh, I'll give you a kind of a close-up because, again, Sabretooth is just a really, really cool character. I think this is when he, I mean, it's it's his original color scheme, but I think it's when he was on the Avengers for that brief moment. Uh, or it may be his new, there's an uncanny storyline, I believe, with Magneto running the X-Men and Psylocke's on the team. I think that's Sabretooth's costume from that storyline. Uh, so, next up, we're back onto the Wolverine packs. It's funny, you know, you're going to get one shot at an unboxing video, so I got to make sure I'm keeping track of which is on which. Uh, so yeah, so this is a Wolverine set. Of course, first piece inside is a Wolverine. We'll go next is a Blockbuster, a Harpoon. Uh, we got Brown Suit Wolverine and another Super Rare. And this time the Super Rare is Scarlet Witch, which is also, I was not expecting to get this piece. Uh, I knew she was in the set. I didn't look at her dial or anything. I don't know really what she does. That's a cool ass scope. So I like that a lot. So we'll put her on the Wolverine side. Again, if you want the super rares, Wolverine's the way to go apparently. Uh, the Cliff, Click FX base, I'm pretty sure it goes to Scarlet Witch. I'll put that there. Final three. All right, so I don't know what else we're pulling for. We, we got the Chase, we got the Prime. Uh, Got the X-23, we got the Angel, got the Omega Red, what what else, what else could I possibly want? I got both Nightcrawlers, uh, and then in this set, so again, we got Storm, we got Wolverine, we got Kitty Pride, we have uh, Super Saber, and we have Iceman, and Iceman is the rare this time, so we'll pop him out. It's the Iceman from the all-new X-Men set. Or storyline. Again, not crazy about it. I like that he's holding a snowball. Oh, better mind. So Iceman. Yes, if I could pull the super rare Iceman, I'd be pretty excited. Uh, but the all-new X-Men, Mike Ripus, go home. They need to go home. It doesn't make sense. You know, the only cool thing that ever happened was uh, past Cyclops was with current Cyclops. And past Cyclops almost died. And current Cyclops started to fade away. <laughs> and then, of course... Current uh, past Cyclops didn't die. Current Cyclops faded back into the world, and he went basically, "What just happened?" And that was cool. I like that. But then that's the problem because those new X Men could die at any time. So I don't, I don't understand why they just—it's too much of a liability. Go home. All right. Next we have the Magneto that I wanted, which is the Magneto in the white suit. We have a Brood. We have a Cliff Click base. Uh, that's what all this plastic is. So, Magneto with a white suit. We have Jean Grey, another Riptide, and a Prism. So, I'm guessing that, yep, Magneto is the rare this time. And again, this was a Wolverine pack. So, he goes over here. And I'm going to have to glue this guy. Okay. Last one. Last pack. Let's see what we got. Open it up. Videos for just over 30 minutes, so that's pretty decent. We'll open it up. We'll see what we got. There should be a lot of people we've already seen. Arclight, Harpoon, Lady Mastermind, Magneto with the black suit, and then Proteus, who I really wanted. Uh, I like him. I was having a conversation with one of my friends. You know, didn't care for the character, but I remember Proteus from the cartoon. He was a monster. What he did to Wolverine messed him up. Uh, and then there was an X-Men story uh, years later with Magneto, uh, Nightcrawler. They confronted him on, a, on an island. Rogue was there, and he was, he was just a monster. All right, so, and he is a super rare. And the sculpt's pretty decent, pretty translucent. I probably would have wanted him a little bit bigger, uh, but that's cool. All right, so, and we got another brood. 
and we got the black suit Magneto. I'll show them all off in another video. So just to give you the tallies now, in terms of if you should be pulling from the Colossus side of things or from the Wolverine side. So for the Colossus side, we pulled two super rares, one chase, and two, four, six, eight rares. Eight rares, one chase, two super rares. From the Wolverine side, we have our, let's see here, it looks like so many more super rares. Okay. So from the Wolverine side, we have four super rares, a prime, which was a rare, as well as one, two, three, four, five, six other rares. So six rares, four super rares versus the Wolverine, the Colossus side, which was two super rares and one chase. Two, four, six, eight, two, four, six. Oh, I'm sorry, six rares for the Wolverine side. Six rares, four super rares, versus eight rares, two super rares, and a chase. Uh, I would personally probably pick a Wolverine side because the Prime was there, which is more of a brick thing, but you got four super rares versus two. If you want to go for the chase, maybe Colossus is your better bet, but you know, rares are a lot easier to collect than super rares. But that was my unboxing video. I hope you enjoyed it. Definitely going to do a follow-up video just to show you the whole set if you haven't seen them all yet. Uh, but again, my name was Dez, a.k.a. MK. I appreciate you watching the video. Uh, you guys take it easy and be cool. Peace.